In this episode we are just going to be wrapping up our single post view. So when we come uh, right here and open up our post preview, click read more, we get the full post, but we are only getting title for right now. Today we are going to add an image, add content to it and also make uh, so-called post control so the ability to go to the next and previous posts and to go back to our post list so first of all let's just add an image so the image that we are going to be calling is this full sized image so I'm just going to go here and add an uh, div with a class of image and then in that div I'm just going to do emg so we don't need src, we need vbind src equals to post dot full. So this is the name of our field, full. Okay, save this. If we refresh our page right now, we get the full sized image. Okay, let's get to the content. So the content is going to be in a post content div and I'm going to call it but with three curly braces because we are going to be having HTML in that post content so this is this right here so as you can see we have p tags a tags and so on so to display that correctly we would do three uh, curly braces and then do post dot content dot rendered okay save this if we refresh our page right now we should be getting the content of that page and also images that comes with it and so on okay so now that we got our content set up let's create this post control up here so that we can go to the previous post next post and get back to our post list remember all of the CSS is already written so I'm just going to add classes to my divs and uh, the first div I'm going to create is going to be called post control okay and in that div I'm going to create a container div and in that div I'm going to add an a tag but without href instead of that I'm going to do vlink equals to and now we are using the router view router so we do path and the path for our list of pages is going to be root path so this one if we go to our app.js this is our root path right here so we are going to be going to a post list component and then we're just going to say something like back to post list and then just added the class of btn read more okay save this let's refresh the page right now as you can see I got this uh, fixed div right here that is the post control div and I have this back to post list button and if I click it I go back to our home page now if I click this read more I get back to this post okay now we are going to be creating previous uh, and next post links so to create previous and next post links we are going to be doing pretty much the same thing that we did for previous and next posts for our previews uh, but instead of just uh, calling up the API and getting the preview of the data that we need we are going to call the actual full post so to do that we just do a and then instead of href we do vlink so we are calling our router equals to name so we have to uh, define the name of our route name is going to be post just like we did when we called the full post and then parameters params is equal to post id and of course the ID of the post that we are calling is next post so in our API we have the next post link and actually the next post ID and the previous post ID so the next post ID for this one would be 23 so we are doing post dot 
next post post and of course if it doesn't have the next post we don't want to show it so we are going to do v if equals to post dot next post so if that that uh, next post doesn't exist then this button wouldn't show up either so we are just going to add a class here of post nav next and then we just add a font icon uh, icon right and we do the same thing for the previous posts okay except this is going to be called previous this is going to be icon left and the class is going to be prev instead of next okay save this and let's hope this works as you can see I have a, a next post button right here if I click it I go to the next post but if I go to this one you see that I don't have the previous post button because this post doesn't have a previous post so it only has a next post and now we can go and check out all the posts okay so this is it for this video in the next two videos we are going to be talking about custom post types in WP REST API and custom fields I think that should interest everyone interested in this subject uh, thank you guys for watching uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you like this video please like it if you like the channel please subscribe to it also you can follow me on facebook or on twitter if you want and that's it thank you guys for watching once again and i'll see you in the next episode